So, what do you think? Let me guess, you're pretending to be the country club divorcee and Riley is the strapping new tennis pro. You called me once in the hallway in a Wonder Woman tiara. Would you let it go? I'm gonna go play tennis with Riley at the country club today. Oh, things have certainly changed. No, honey, they've been letting us in since Dr. Schwartzman said. No, I, I meant you. I didn't know you played tennis. Oh, Riley taught me. Yeah, we used to play all the time before you moved back, but lately we've been so busy we haven't had a chance. So I'm so glad we're gonna play together today. Hey, partner. Hi, sweetie. This is going to be the best day. Just you and me, honey, enjoying the afternoon sunshine and pummeling the crap out of the Russells. And just remember, this is the third Mrs. Russell, and she looks a lot like the first one because they're sisters. <laughs> Only this one has a much better backhand and a much better prenup. Got all your gear, babe? Yeah, I got my makeup, my body spritz, my hairspray, I'm all set. Sure you didn't forget your curling iron or three-way mirror? First rule of tennis, when you look great, your game's great. <laughs> New rule, when you look great, forget the game. <laughs> understand getting a tennis ball in the head, even scraping both your knees. But how do you bruise your butt? I try jumping over the damn net. I forgot, Riley always holds it down for me. And this time I just sort of ran into it and then it shot me back. Well, where was Riley? Oh, he was called away. Every time there's a problem on the construction site, he's the one that has to come put out the fire. Why, what happened? Well, there was a fire. <laughs> what are you so mad about? You did my laundry. That's right, Josh, because I'm evil. <laughs> I met this great girl, Gina, at the movies last night, and you washed my jeans with her number in it. Now I can't read the last two numbers. Gimme, give gimme. Give 26147. From, from. <laughs> You could have been my soulmate, you know. Uh-huh, your last soulmate was the girl at Wendy's who bagged your curly fries. Be nice to me. Odds are I'll be your prom date. I'm just gonna have to start dialing numbers. Oh, hi, sweetie. How is the site? Oh, one big pain in my ass. How is the court? Same pain, different ass. <laughs> I'm so sorry I left you hanging. Mm. Let me make it up to you. How about we go down to four? Mm. Hold on one sec. Hello? Look, Jimmy, you don't have to call me with every little problem. What about Bob? Both of his legs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be right down. Oh, come on, don't tell me I have to go again. I'm sorry, but how about tonight I make some Italian? You mean the kitchen seven-ish? Oh, I can't. I promised David and Gregory that I'd go buy drapes with them. Hey, how about if we make dinner together tomorrow night? Can't. Got a poker tournament with the boys. I can't let them down. All right, I gotta run. We'll figure this out. Okay, but when? I'll, I'll call you. I'll answer. I forgot to tell you, I'm hanging out with Dee Dee tonight. Oh, well, what are you guys gonna do? I don't know, just hang out. Could you be a little more vague? You don't really like Dee Dee, do you, Mom? Oh, sweetie, it's not that I don't like her, it's that I don't trust her. Why don't you trust her? Because I don't like her. Mom, why are you in such a bad mood? Did you have a fight with Riley? I wish I could say we had a fight. That would mean we'd be in the same room together. I don't know, we're just... So busy, we hardly see each other anymore. Oh, come on, Mom. You and Riley are great together. Yeah, when we're together. 
Well, shouldn't you be kind of used to it? I mean, Dad was busy a lot, too. Yeah, exactly. We never made each other a priority. And you see what happens to a relationship. You start to drift apart, and then the next time you get together is at the court-appointed time. <laughs> so you should spend some time together. That'll be good for you and Riley. You know what I think? You should go away for a couple of weeks. I'll be fine. Just leave me some money. You know, that's really a great idea. And just to be on the safe side, I'll leave you the keys of the car, my ATM pin number, and some birth control. You could have just said no. Babe? I'm home. Hey, babe? Babe? You home? Babe? Oh. Honey? Riley? <laughs> Honey? Oh. Riley, where are you? What are you doing down there? Looking for you. Oh, I gotta hang up now. My boyfriend just walked in the room. Mm. You get the feeling we've been missing each other lately? Mm, you took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, stranger. Hey, stranger. You know, how long has it been since we've been sitting alone like this? I think weeks. Yeah. When we first got together, we couldn't go two hours without each other. I know. We'd go to the mail and we'd have to hold hands. <laughs> and then we would always talk in bed. Remember, we haven't done that in a long time either. Before you, I never wanted to lay in bed and just talk to a woman. Once I was done, I was done and headed IHOP. <laughs> Well, you changed my life, too. Before you, there were a lot of things I didn't want to do. I guess life just gets busy, hon. I know, but then you drift apart. Well, we don't want that to happen. We can't let that happen. No. You're kidding me. You're Gina. Gina from the Cineplex. <laughs> I never thought I'd find you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the guy who shushed you when your cell phone went off. I, and then apologize when I saw how hot you were. Well, where were we? I'm heading off to Dee Dee's now. And mother, just for your police files, if it gets too late, I might stay there. Okay, well, please call me when you know where you're staying. Ugh, why don't you just take me to the dog pound so they can put a chip in my ear? <laughs> Will they do that for me? Okay, let's make this quick, huh? Mm. Who's the man? I overcame tremendous odds. I never gave up. I found Gina, and she was delighted that I called. Oh, that's great, Josh. You found your mystery woman. Hooray, hooray. Now go enjoy her. Yeah. She manages that band, Public Domain. They're playing at the Aztec tonight, and I will be joining her. I love that band. I'm always playing them in the car. Hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't we go to that concert together? Really? You want to go? I thought you had plans. Oh, I'll just cancel them. We need to spend time alone. Great. Then it's a date. No, it's not. It's my date. <laughs> oh, Josh, would you relax? We're not going to cramp your style. But why don't we all wear matching turtlenecks so we can find each other at the concert? <laughs> I'm so kidding. I better grab a shower. OK. What are you doing? What? You told me and Allison you want to jump out the window every time Riley plays that CD. You hate that band. Well, Riley and I want to be together more, so tonight I'm going to love that band. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. I'm still loving it. I can't see anything. I need to find Gina before this thing ends. OK. Excuse me, buddy, do you need to be standing there? I can't see. Sleep with one eye. It's just that I've dreamed of seeing this band the entire time I was quarantined. <laughs> Never gonna find Gina, there's too many people. Horse. 
Whoa, easy, fella. Josh, why don't you just walk around and find her already? Okay, okay, okay. Down, boy. Hey, that drummer looks like your cousin Ira. You don't know him. All right, uh, wish me luck. Okay, got it. Having a good time, hon? Are you kidding? I'm having a fantastic time. Then you should stay. Okay. Why? Where are you going? A water main broke down at the construction site. I gotta run. I'm so sorry I'm screwing up our date, hon. But I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh. Here's my lighter in case they play Egyptian Stairway. Wow, okay. Hurry back. I'll miss you, sweetie. Concert bash. You get to hang with the band. Never heard of them before tonight, and you get to hang? Ah, so this is what it's like for you to be jealous of me. <laughs> Not as satisfying as I'd hoped. <laughs> okay, so look, I talked to her, and she said I could bring some friends. Are you serious? Babe, you want to go backstage? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so just don't tell anybody you're my mom and her boyfriend. Okay. If anybody asks, you're Vanilla Ice and his manager, Bobby Fleckman. <laughs> mom. What? Why are you walking like that? Oh, well, you know, when they were passing me around the crowd, besides getting a full frontal body massage, I lost a shoe. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. But look at the bright side. We're gonna meet public domain. Okay, just... Nobody embarrass me, all right? Josh, who's gonna embarrass you? <laughs> hey, drunk girl, sell me your shoes. Mom. <laughs> what a score. These boots were 400 bucks at Bluey's. I got them for 40 bucks. Hey, let me know if you see any Wasted Chicks Prada bags. <laughs> Michael, we're with the band. You know, you know. Oh, uh, um, Gina. Uh, Incidentally, the family portion of this evening is officially over. Hey, there's Ken Logan and Mike Phelps. They started Public Domain. I gotta know if all the vocals on Tiny Garage were really recorded in a tiny garage, or if that's just legend. Huh? Okay, all right. I'm just gonna go looking for a bathroom. Excuse me. Hey, 
are you guys fans of this band? Seth! Please! <laughs> our son is the lead singer. It's our 35th anniversary. So he flew us out here. Wow, 35 years. What's your secret? We really love doing things together. Uh, that's the key, isn't it? We wanted our son to be a dentist, but they threw him out of dental school. Did you ever hear of such a thing? Sadly, I have. Huh. Sorry. No problem. Did I tell you? All you have to do is act like you belong, and nobody stops you. Come on, let's mingle. Next time I'm in Boca, I'll definitely come visit you guys. Oh, isn't that funny? I have that same exact hat. Oh, and I have that same daughter. Allison, what are you doing here? Who is this Allison? Really? Is that all bloody blood? Oh, give it up. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. You girls are in big trouble. It was all Allison's idea. Dee Dee! Sorry, I panicked. Hey, hon, look. The guy signed a CD for me. To Riley, rock on. Ken and Mike. Allison? Yes, Allison, can you believe this? I don't know how you thought you were gonna get away with this. Well, for starters, I didn't think you were going to be here. You hate this band. You always say they sound like a bunch of monkeys got into the silverware drawer. That's what you think they sound like? You think we sound like monkeys? Oh, the smart monkeys. You know, the ones that they send into space. The lady's right. We suck because you keep missing practice, bro. If you wrote better songs, I'd want to practice, bro. Hey, if you're so unhappy, well, I guess it's time for a change. Maybe it is. Yeah, maybe it is. We're through. OK. <laughs> Wait, you guys can't break up. What about your fans? Maybe you could go back to dental school. I can't believe that woman just broke up my band. Come on. Josh, I'm taking your sister home. So, I guess that ski weekend we were talking about is out of the question. You are grounded, young lady. For the next three weeks, you don't leave your room except for school and meals. No, just school. I will slide your meals under your door. <laughs> Oh, come on, like you never did anything like this when you were my age? Well, my Dee Dee was a girl named Angela. She went to Catholic school. Her skirt was basically a headband. <laughs> and do you know where she is today? Jail? No, she's married to a pediatrician and lives in a gorgeous home in Bergen County. <laughs> but the point is, I just get up to your room. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry about tonight. I didn't mean to break up your band. Well, they've broken up before. They'll go off and do a couple crappy solo albums and then get back together. Why did you even suggest we go if you don't like their music? Because I wanted to spend time with you. So I was really trying, but you were right. I didn't like it very much. Why weren't you just honest with me? Because I wanted to like what you like. I mean, we're supposed to be soulmates, so we should be together. Babe, you are my soulmate. But it's not about time or liking the same music. It's about the little things. Doing a crossword in bed or, or getting coffee for each other. You know? Uh, this talk. I would have never cared enough about another relationship to have a talk like this. And I never cared enough about anyone before to sit through three encores of Egyptian Highway. Stairway. Whatever. I love that you tried. I love everything about you. Riley? Yoko? Did you hear something? Who cares? In any relationship, what keeps you together is appreciating the everyday stuff. Sharing a cup of coffee, doing the crossword puzzle. It's the little things that are the big things. She's right, bro. <laughs> I love you, bro.
Can we rehearse in your garage? No, bro. 